the coin toss now, presented by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. The pregame festivities are over, and we're just about set to get this game underway. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. Yard line. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. From their own 19-yard line, it's second down. Outside after a nice pickup. That'll make it third and nine. Right and left, right and left. Three down, three down. Back 22, back 22. Go! Slam, slam, slam. Go! 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 Nothing clicking there. Let's see if they can make a few adjustments before their next series. Fourth down. Hunter is back awaiting the punt. And this one is a beauty. Gets to about the 41-yard line. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. And he's immediately tackled. Second and two. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. He fights forward to about the 49. Short gain there by the tailback, and he's still going to come away with a first down. He's a reliable ball carrier, as he showed right there. He got the two yards they needed for a new set of downs. the 49 from their own 49 yard line second down and he's taken down around the 35 yard line nice catch that time in coverage yeah excellent job of hauling that one in this is why he's considered by many to have one of the better set of hands today in college football They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. And he's tackled after positive yardage. First down. Complete. He's got room. He's pushed out of bounds around the one-yard line. 
the defenders are really going to have to get their heads into this game. That was a big play, and on first down, no less. This is the eighth play of this drive. They put everyone up on the line. job of finding the space to run and just bursting in for six. And he adds the extra point. An eight play, 59 yard drive. And a touchdown as a result. The score now, 7-0. Colorado is lining up to kick this one off. He kicks it off and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Buffaloes are right where they want to be early in this one, partner. Well, this is what their coach talked about, getting off to a great start. The defense did their job, and it's nice to see the offense move the ball down the field and also get some points on the board. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. Tackled after a decent pickup. They're about four yards away here on second down. They might be coming here. And he's tackled at about the 25-yard line. That brings up third and ten. set of downs. If the defense wants to line up and man, work that slant route until they stop it. From their own 39-yard line. First down. Takes the toss left. Using midfield. You like to see a team having success like this running the football. It can really open up things for the offense. At about the 49. That brings up second and nine. Second and nine. Ball on the 49. Here they come. Wants to go long and does. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. There are three quarters remaining. Colorado's lead is a touchdown. Back to the action now here in the second quarter. Touchdown, ASU! 
So the halfback took it in for six. Simple play call there by the offensive coordinator. Just give it to the back and let him find his way into the end zone. The extra point to tie this game up. And he tacks on the extra point. A nice seven play, 75 yard drive. And they come away with seven points. We're even at seven in this one. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Excellent kick. Always want to go in the locker room with momentum so as we get closer to halftime I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. and he makes it out to about the 27 yard line a couple of yards there by the tailback on the counter from their own 27 yard line second down Brought down immediately. Clark with the tackle at the 34 yard line. That'll make it 31. And they get nice yardage on that run. Nice run there by the tailback, and it's good for the first. Solid five yard pickup. He was almost able to get to the secondary, but as it is, he still manages to move the sticks. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 39-yard line. He's under pressure, and he just gets rid of it. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. And they make the stop at the 42-yard line. Number 15 on the tackle at the 42-yard line. That, that makes, makes it first, first and 10. It's first and 10. Ball on the 42. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. They'll bring him down around the 32-yard line. What is going on with his defense? I mean, don't get me wrong. The offense is doing a nice job with first downs, and they're executing well. But the defense is just letting them maintain possession and move the ball right down the field. They've got to try to change things up with their scheme. Be more aggressive. Attack. Do some things to change it up. Take some risks. He's under pressure. He goes out of bounds at the 13-yard line. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 13. He's tackling around the four yard line. Here's play number 10 on the drive. Touchdown, Buffalo. Nice job by the offense to get the final few yards to the end zone. Yeah, they knew what play to call for in that situation and made it work. And he converts the extra point. A 10-play, 75-yard drive, and it's good for seven points. So the score now, 
14-7. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Boy, this is turning into a shootout here. Now, remember, the last time we saw this offense out in the field, they answered the bell and scored a touchdown. Can they do that now a second time? With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. He's under some heat, and he can't get away from the pressure. That is a loss of 11 yards on the play. That'll make it second and long. Defense looking for another sack in this second down and long situation. Makes it out to about the 26. to go. Ball on their own 45. Got it. And he goes down quickly. Conyers picks up six yards with that grab. Arizona State will take a timeout. That's their first of the half. Go to the left for a nice game. A gain of about four yards on the draw. Arizona State's going to have to use their second time out of the half. They'll line it up again on third down. Throwing right. He's right there for the interception. job to pick that ball off. He did a great job at getting in that passing lane and coming away with the ball. From their own 49-yard line, first down. Colorado is up by a touchdown. Now he's scrambling. Going deep. And he holds in the deep pass. Tackle made at the 10-yard line. Now he tries to buy some time. The ball pops free. It's picked up. That's a big break for this defense. You know, this offense just can't afford to be getting hit with a turnover bug. They need to hold on to the football. The offense comes out to start this drive, and they're hoping for a better result as they threw a pick on their last possession. I look for the offense to come out with the same game plan as before. You don't make changes after one play. 
Gets out to around the nine. So it's second down and about two yards to go. We've played a half. The Buffaloes lead 14-7. we played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. Defense has been dominant in this game. Yards very hard to come by. But David, as we get deeper and deeper into this game, the natural assumption is that the pressure goes to the offense to do something. How much pressure is on the defense not to make that catastrophic mistake? Well, that, that's the that's the conundrum you get it. I mean, it makes it exceptionally tough because you want to play perfect and you want to get them to punt every single time, but it's not the way it works. And it's those big plays that you usually see that kill the defenses and break their backs. And you can hold them great, Reese, on first down, second down, it's third and long. You're in a perfect situation. You give up that one play for 80, and it changes the whole complexion of the game. So I think you got to have a little bit of both. It can't just be great defense the whole time. Usually the teams that play great defense can keep you in it, but only for so long. At some point, that offense has to get something going. Just about ready to start the second half. We're going to watch all the games around the country, including some coaches who like to sample the surface that they're playing on. I'll, I'll keep an eye on that. Yeah, I'm going to go to the cafeteria. You want some turf, some astro turf or anything? Yeah, if they've got some, I'll chew on that in the second half. Here's the second half for you to chew on with Brad and Kirk. All right, Reese and David, thanks, guys. Second half action just about ready to start here. Nice kick, plenty of distance. We're about set to start things up again. Colorado up seven points. He's on the run. Flips it middle to the running back. And he's taken down at the 36. He's scrambling, and he's going to be sacked. Boy, this pass rush is sometimes scary. They're really getting after the quarterback now. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. And he tackles him hard at the 42. Davis makes the tackle at the 42-yard line. First down. Now it's first and ten with a defense trying to regroup after giving up the big pass. I got two! I got two! Scrambling around. And down he goes. Right around the 20. That makes it first and 10. From the 20 yard line, it's first down. They'll be protecting that football after learning the hard way on their last trip to the red zone. Good outside run there. Colorado is up a score. He scrambled. Quarterback's going to run it, and he's got room to work. He dives, and he'll be marked down. Hoping to double their lead here as they close in on the goal line. Everybody bunched up tight defensively. Nice run, and he's brought down.
When you're that close to the end zone, it's always a smart play to find your blockers and follow them into the end zone. He makes the PAT. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Buffaloes continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives that they want to get back in the game. Complete, brought down, nothing doing. So it's complete, but they didn't get much there. And that's because the defense was just waiting on it, and they attacked. The quarterback should have found somebody else downfield. From their own 27-yard line, it's second down. tackled right around the 42-yard line. That is not easy to stop. The quarterback hit his man on an out route, and the defender was in man coverage. As a defender in man coverage, you cannot get beat deep. And as a result, the underneath routes are going to be there. And as you can see, it worked out great for the offense as they were looking for a new set of downs. First and 10, ball on their own 42. the 41. Tackle at the 49. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. And he carries the ball for a nice game. play of this drive. like they might be bringing some pressure here. Stays in bounds and made a nice catch. This guy has that innate ability to get just enough distance from a defender to make a completion possible. You don't see it from every receiver, but this guy's got it. First and 10. 
First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 13-yard line. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. This is the 11th play of this drive. It's not over yet, folks. We head to the fourth quarter. 21-7, Colorado. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. Halfback's got it on the quick throw. They'll bring him down at about the five-yard line. They line up for another third down, and they've had no problem converting their first two. Down and he's going to get sacked. And it's the offense that takes the field on fourth down. Quickly, and they got it. Touchdown. And did that play ever develop nicely? Well, it's all about the receiver on this play. He beat his man off the line and then ran a perfect route. All he had to do after that was make the catch. So they go to the air on fourth down when they needed a big play, and boy, do they come through. He hits the PAT. A 13 play, 75 yard drive. And the result, seven points. You know, Brad, a lot of times you have to watch practice and watch a seven on seven drill to not see the ball touch the ground. This time they went the entire length of the field. The ball never touched the ground. Great execution by the quarterback and the receiver. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. It's been a good one so far today. Let's see what happens here. It's a big opportunity for this offense. They've got the lead. Now they want to just try to manage this clock and be smart with the football and see if they can work as much clock as possible. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Colorado is up seven. the 27. A yard, maybe two on the carry. That makes it six in the minute. From their own 27-yard line. Second down. He's going to try and scramble. He's taken down at about the 33-yard line. out to about the 35-yard line. He picks up a few with that carry, and it's enough to move the sticks. Well, the defense did a pretty good job there and didn't give him much room. Unfortunately for them, there was just enough space to eke out two yards he needed for the first down. He makes it to the 38-yard line. It's second down, eight to go. Ball on the 38-yard line. He's immediately tackled. No way. 
It's first and ten. Ball on the 46-yard line. Decent run here, right side. That brings him second and five. The Sun Devils will use their first time out of the half. From the 41-yard line, second down. A little more than two minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Gets out to about the 38-yard line. Three-yard gain by the running back. Arizona State will take their second time out of the half. They'll line it up again on third down. He's going to come up short. Good tackle. The offense got a little conservative and predictable with their play call. But credit the defense with being up to the task of stopping the run. They don't get it. Defense stiffens there and gives it back to their offense. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Tackle made at the 46. That brings in second and one. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. Just under two minutes in the game. And he's taken down at about the 31. Completes it, and he's hit hard immediately. The spike will stop the clock. And they'll look to convert here on another third down. And he is drilled at the 16. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. From the 16-yard line, it's second down. Here comes the pressure. 
On the throw, incomplete pass. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. The 10. Touchdown, Sun Devils. Late in the fourth quarter, and the big question is, in a game this close, who's going to crack first? Here comes the kicker to try to tie this game up. He splits the uprights with the extra point. A nine-play, 64-yard drive, and they put up seven points. Looks like they're ready for the kick. And he got all of this one. Great kick. Here we are late in the fourth quarter in a very important and a very tight football game. And who's going to come to the forefront? We'll see who's got the most leadership. Decides to tuck it in, and he's got space. And he tackles him hard at the 35-yard line. We have less than a minute to go. Throws out to the back, and it's through his hands. From their own 35-yard line. Second down. He's scrambling. He gets rid of this one. complete and down he goes at the 47. He's on the run. Pulls it in first down and he's knocked out of bounds. First down. From the 33 yard line. First down. going to take their first time out of the half. You can tell he's got a lot of faith in his wide receivers. Even when he's a little bit off target, they can pull it in and make something happen. And once again, they'll come to the line, try to convert on third down. And he has it on the corner. Inside the 10. Nice play to set up first and goal. That makes it first and goal. Everybody bunched up tight defensively. Brought down just outside the goal line. The Buffaloes call a timeout. That's their second of the half. From the one-yard line. It's second down. Got to be careful of a pass play with this defense. Touchdown, Buffaloes. You got to think the way that offense dug deep to get the lead here this late in the fourth quarter, that might translate over and give enough emotion to their defense to win the football game. 
and he converts the extra point. A 10-play, 75-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drop. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run in the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. If they field this kick, they'll have to bring it all the way back for a touchdown, or this one's over. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Even in a game this close, I think it's going to take something very unexpected to change the outcome. But that doesn't mean it won't happen. Well, you never know what can happen in college football, so I wouldn't be surprised by anything here. Either way, it should be exciting. That tackle just sealed the deal. So this one's final. Very well played by both teams today. 28-21, Buffalo. So that wraps things up for us for EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit. I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you next time.